What's going on guys? I am Simple Simon and today we're going to another Melbourne Collector's Market. For those who don't know, the Melbourne Collector's Market run the Melbourne Comic and Toy Fair and they also run some smaller events, one out in Diamond Creek and the other one out in Broad Meadows, good old Broady. I have been to the Broady one once, uh, but me and Sarah got the day off today, so we thought we'd go check it out. Let's do this. Just a quick shout out to my some minions. Your support is greatly appreciated. Channel membership is now available. To find out more, hit the join button to find out about perks and exclusive videos and content. But always remember, your membership is not required. The best way to support the channel is by liking and commenting on all the videos. Let's do this. This is the part where I let you guys know that we made it safely. Barely found a park though. Yeah, parking was a bit of a bitch today. So nine, if you see this, mate, uh, we need to organize some, you know, Simple Simon parking <laughs> at all these events. <laughs> uh, so yeah, it's at the Broadie uh, Aquatic and Leisure Centre and it is absolutely chockers there today. So we'll see what the event is like. So it was a bright and sunny day out in Broad Meadows. Hey there, Sarah. Uh, and we had to get a shot of the Melbourne Collector's Market flag there. I'm sure a lot of time and effort went into that. Now, I've probably said before in these smaller events, it's half a kid's market and then half a collectibles market. And the collectible side is quite new. The kids market has a bit more history. So here is the collectible half of the collector's market. And then this is the kids side of the market. Um, and you, you never know what you're gonna find in that kids section too, I'll tell you that. Uh, and obviously all the celebrities are out at this event, including Bluey, one of the biggest names in children's entertainment. Now the collector's side have everything from toys to comics to cards, amongst other things. I had a good chat to this dude here from the Warriors Down Under. I had a chat to him at the Giant Size Toy Fair. I bought some stuff off his eBay store before uh, and he's a big seller of Warriors memorabilia. Uh, and, and you guys probably know that I collect a lot of Warriors stuff. It's just Warriors stuff for some reason is so expensive so it's hard for me to ever buy any of it <laughs> uh, but he had a lot of cool stuff as well as all this stuff so it wasn't just worries he collects a lot of old retro sort of stuff this walking dead stuff belongs to him as well hey me and sarah finally finished walking dead in fact i think it was right after the event we went home and watched walking dead and finished it all 11 seasons done you got barbies and dolls at the show as well so there's something for everyone at the melbourne collector's market now this dude here i love chatting to this dude in fact i think the first time i met him was at one of the collector's markets and it was the first time he was selling or maybe the second time uh, i always love chatting to him now his store i believe is called gamers closet he has a lot of retro video games amongst loose figures retro figures as you can see there he's got a lot of cool stuff and um, i always like to say hi to him ecw ecw uh, and, uh, uh, his table is one of my favorites to look at now. He's got everything, VHS tapes here. That Robocop figure in the background is pretty cool. Um, all sorts of cool stuff to look at. Including this Aliens watch. Oh my God, it was an Aliens watch. I really wanted it, but there was no price. I did want to ask, because I hate asking what's the price, and then I'm like, oh, I can't afford that. But next time, I'm going to find out how much that Aliens watch costs. Charlie. I'm thinking about buying one of those hats. Wicked little A bucket hat? I was just saying the Sarah should get one, but she was like, she doesn't see the. I want to be Batman and Spider Man's. Yeah, it's cool that stuff. <laughs> Keep the sun off it, mate. Mate, I heard you bought something today. Can we have a look? What is it? Can you tell the people it, at home? It is uh, All Face 7 from 1942. 1942. Uh, very rare issue, very hard to find. It's the only one on eBay even in the USA. So um, I saw it, I bought it, now it's mine. And, uh, you never see this stuff in Australia, right? Nah, it's so hard to get it down here. So how would someone get this? Would they have bought it from overseas, you reckon? Or? Yeah, a lot of times. Well, it could be from an old, someone's bought it from a collection. But uh, basically people don't, don't know where they come from. Now the, like a um, five or six white kids, they sell their comic to, oh, where'd this come from? <laughs> no, it'd be a lot of these stuff for the USA. Uh, very rare you find them here. And it's crazy good condition, right? For 1942. 
Yeah, it is crazy good. The only thing wrong with it is the tape on the side. But, but nothing we can't fix, right? <laughs> no, nothing we can't fix. <laughs> Big secret, but uh, it's pretty cool, pretty happy, so it's made my adventure here worthwhile. Nice, mate. So nice. Pretty cool. I'll show you the after pictures later. All right. <laughs> Charlie's a good bloke who I first met at the Yarraville Comic Fair in that video where I tried selling for the first time. He was just a really, really friendly dude. You got some trading card for all you card guys. I actually wanted to pick up a few packs of those Star Wars cards there, but I decided not to. I, to be honest, I'd rather pick up a box. Um, this artist slash creator, I don't know what you call her, but Gemini Druid had a lot of cool stuff at the table. All these manga collages, these custom Gundam figures here. That was super cool. And right next to her were Wookie Print. Had a good chat to these guys. They do, they specialize in 3D printed customs. Uh, and they had a lot of cool stuff there. A lot of Pokemon uh, and things like that. I'm terrible with names, but this dude who owns this stall, I see him at every single comic fair, toy fair. Uh, he does a lot of vintage stuff, as well as modern toys as well. And he's got tubs and tubs of loose figures, like you can see here. There's a panda, don't know what that's from. Here's some Aquaman, and this last one was interesting. It's like a cat. Some old school turtles there. That Beta Ray Bill figure is absolutely awesome. Some old school Terminator. I remember I had a Terminator figure back in the day. And some more vintage goodness. Got some aliens there. This table here is run by two dudes who are brothers. Uh, they are at a lot of the comic fairs. They sell a lot of comic books as well as some old vintage toys as well. Uh, one of them actually works at Comics R Us. I see him around there. You got some Sanrio stuff for Sarah and her crowd. And here's some more comic books. Hey, look, it's Billy, the superstar of the Yarraville Comic and Toy Fair. The next Yarraville, I can't remember the date right now. I'll put it in the video somewhere. But I'm going to be selling there, so come say hi. And the dude who owns this table, I never remember his name, but he's the dude who gave me the hot tip about the Warriors video game at the Melbourne Comic and Toy Fair. And unfortunately, I wasn't able to get the game. Someone already bought it, but shout out to my homie. He's at all the events, and he always does really well. He's got loose figures, box figures, new, old, you name it probably got it all right so we're done uh now the mystery is we will show you what we picked up or what sarah picked up uh, but the mystery is will i have a fine on my car because apparently i only had one hour parking but i think it's full day on sunday should be right, <laughs> all right it is sunday so hopefully i'm okay and yay no parking ticket for me that's a parking permit not a ticket so don't stress about that uh, and then afterwards before we went home to show you the hall we went to get lunch at the most Australian place you could possibly think of. We went to Bunnings to get a good old fashioned Bunnings snag, baby. All right, so for all my friends across the pond, this is a Bunnings snag. It is like, uh, what's the word for it? Aussie tradition. tradition. It's just a basic, a sausage in bread. I got some onion in mine, so I haven't had one of these in yonk, so. I don't know why people go so crazy about them. Let's see. They are pretty ace. Yeah. That's good stuff. Hmm? Alrighty, so. Good day. Good fun. Obviously, these events are a lot shorter. They go from 9 a.m. to 1. We got there around 11 and we're out by about 12.30. So it was good to see. I had a chat to a few of the sellers there that I obviously see at a lot of these events now. And the general consensus is these smaller collector's markets that Nine has been running are slowly growing every time. So that's obviously good to see because Nine puts a lot of work into, I think, um, advertising them and things like that. He does a great job. Uh, with all the marketing and stuff like that. So we'll show you what we picked up. We've got a few comic books and a few other cutesy things that Sarah picked up. So first, Wookiee Print. They make uh, 3D printed custom models and things like that. So they had some cool stuff. They had a chat. He looked at me, he was like, Simon? I was like, yeah, that's me. Simple Simon. Uh, he mentioned he'd seen a video or two before, so that was cool. So we had a bit of a chat uh, and they made these really cool, even I think this is super cool, uh, even though it's more of a Sarah thing. They made these, um, 3D printed switch, what do you call them? Like a cartridge holders, right? So 
yeah, you put you put the game cartridges in there for Switch games, and it's actually a cool Game Boy, old school Game Boy cartridge, and they did a whole bunch of different Pokemon ones, and obviously Sarah collects Sylveon. So uh, I bought her this Sylveon one, thought that was pretty cool. Uh, with that, a bunch of cool stuff you would have seen in the video. I did get some footage of their table. Sarah picked up something from, I guess she's an artist. Gemini Druid is the uh, store name or artist, if we can say. So she makes, here we go. She makes custom painted Gunpla. I don't know what Gunpla is. Kawaii Gundams, Gundams, I don't know what that is. Uh, manga collages, paper crafts, fantasy inspired terrariums. I saw her table at the Melbourne Comic and Toy Fair. In fact, when I did my live stream at the Melbourne Comic and Toy Fair, her table was right next to me and she had these really cool guns that were all like decorated and stuff that looked super cool. But anyway, had a bit of a chat to her today and Sarah loved her stuff. So Sarah picked up a little, I guess she would say, oh, she bought a few things. Let's have a look at this first. So it's a little succulent. Fantasy inspired terrariums. Okay, so I guess this is a terrarium. Uh, this is super cool. Uh, I, um, I like this. So, succulent's obviously the plant, uh, but then it's got a cool bunch of little things in there. This is super cool because this is the type of plant you can kind of keep inside, and Sarah's really into her plants. I'm the complete opposite, but um, not into plants at all. But um, that's super cool. I, I like that. Sarah also picked up a bunch of Karomi stickers. Just I'm just going to go through these really quickly because I didn't realize how many she actually bought. So Karomi stuff is appearing in all my videos, it seems, these days. Every time Karomi makes it into the haul. So that is a bunch of stickers that Sarah picked up. And then the comic books, we picked up about five books from good old Charlie. It's funny because Charlie actually mentioned to me that he doesn't go bin diving when he goes to events. He buys war books, that's what he, you know, war books, that's what he wants. And I told him, I'm the same, you know, when I go to comic fairs and things like that now, I don't go bin diving through every single box I can find. I just can't do it anymore. I sometimes just happen to flick through one box and if I just happen to find something that I want in that small little flick, than it was meant to be, but um, I really don't go out of my way to dig too deep into boxes these days. But while I was having a chat to Charlie, Sarah uh, was digging through some of his boxes and she stumbled across a whole bunch of Revival Jenny Frizen covers. Like these are um, good finds. I would have bought these if I found them, but Sarah got to them first. Oh, the light's a bit crappy there. Oh, might have to find a new spot for that light. So yeah, this is some early Frizen work. Uh, she did a bunch of covers for Revival. Is this one Frizen? That doesn't really look like a fr Oh, maybe it is. The actual main character there doesn't really look like a Frizen piece, but the background kind of does look Frizzany. Frizzany. Um, so there's that one. This is definitely a Frizen. So there's that one. You will find a lot of Frizen's early work in like, you know, really cheap bins and stuff. Oh, she bought this for me. Strontium Dog. Quality Comics, eh? That's the name of the publisher, interesting. Sarah bought me this because it was a cool Kiss cover. I actually like that. There was a few Kiss covers in the boxes, uh, but this, I said, Sarah's gonna buy them all for me. I was like, no, just buy this one because I actually quite like this one there. Very cool. Don't know much about the book. I've never heard of Quality Comics, but uh, let me know if you guys know. And then the last book I bought, I've already got this one, but for two bucks, I'll have another one. This is a DC Who's Who. Uh, this was the first DC Who's Who that I bought. And the reason I bought it, uh, as I would have mentioned in the video when I showed it the first time, was because there's actually a really nice Dave Stevens piece in here. There's also the controversial Captain Nazi character in here. It's got this really nice, uh, man, this lighting, I really need to find a new spot for a really nice Dave Stevens artwork there of Catwoman. Um, so for $2, that little piece alone is worth it. So yeah, I picked up a second copy of that. And that's it. Shout out to Nine for putting on another fun event. Uh, I really enjoy doing these. Uh, he's got another one coming up soon, which is the Melbourne Collectors Market in Diamond Creek. Uh, by the time I release this video, hopefully I'll have the date come up for you somewhere at the bottom. Uh, so if you guys are out that way on that date, make sure you check it out. Uh, if I've got the day off, I'll definitely be there. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you're still watching this video, I appreciate you. Make sure you guys leave a like, leave a comment, all that good stuff. And until next time, I'm Simple Simon. Tell your friends and keep it simple.